Your son Tran and the Teamsters Union ended Tucson's 42-day bus strike. Both sides are still insisting they will not disclose the terms of the deal. Striking drivers voted to accept the teams, the terms that is, of the strike, and bus schedules returned to normal this morning. Now, your side's Craig Smith has been talking to bus riders. He's live at the Tohono Transit Center near Tucson Mall. Craig. Well, you know, naturally, it's, the bus riders are relieved that this log, log strike is over. Some routes were running, but they often ran less often. And when a bus did finally roll up, it was usually packed. While some riders could at least use buses running on the limited strike schedule, riders on Route 21 down Silverbelt were totally out of luck. Route 21 did not run at all until the strike finally ended. I had to pay a taxi to do my grocery shopping. I had to uh, find other ways to find transportation to get to my doctor's appointment. Members of the bus riders union struggled during the strike. Now they're so angry at PTM, the management company Tucson hired to run the buses, that they want the city to drop the company when its contract expires in about eight months. We are saying that the bus rider union, that the Teamsters, and any other appropriate stakeholders need to sit around a table with the city of Tucson and come up with an entity to take the place of professional transit management. Are you with me? Teamsters won't disclose the deal that settled the strike. Neither will professional transit management, even though it runs SunTran with about $30 million in your local and federal tax money. It said in a statement it is, quote, a private for-profit corporation and is not considered a public body for the purposes of Arizona public records law. Now, Tucson Mayor Jonathan Rothschild would like to see a regional transit system with its own dedicated funding source to take over SunTran from the city of Tucson. Now, the Bus Riders Union opposes that idea because it's afraid other cities in that regional setup would have too much control over a system that would still have Tucson riders as its main core of customers. Reporting live, Craig Smith, KGON 9, on your side.